Hi guys, welcome back, and today we're doing a different kind of tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make your Final Cut Pro run faster, and also how to avoid the spinning wheel of death on your screen, which is also in Final Cut Pro. Before I jump into the video, I just want to say this. Yesterday, in yesterday's premiere, I asked what am I drinking, and a lot of you guessed like water or tea, and some of you even guessed coffee. To be honest, I'm way too young for coffee. So the correct answer was lemonade, and that was answered by XX Thunder Gamer XX. If you don't know, I have this calamansi juice in my house that you mix with water, which is basically P Filipino lemonade. Nice job, XX Thunder Gamer XX, and thank you so much for being supportive all the time. Shout out to you, bro. Now let's jump into the video. Before I show you that on Final Cut Pro, I just want to say, uh, make sure you don't have full storage. Then you want to make sure you have 10 to 20% empty storage. But this is even more important if you have a spinnable high drive, not SSD, because the computer has to go through all this unnecessary data and get the data that you need. Final Cut Pro can run with the minimum requirements, but it's always good to have a little more processing power so the program can run faster. Additionally, on your dashboard, make sure to quit all the stuff that you don't use but is still running. Unless you absolutely need to open other apps, only leave the Final Cut Pro open. This works especially with slower computers, but if you have a fast computer, this will definitely help. So first thing you want to do is click here, view. And you want to look at this one. You see, it says better quality or better performance. Always choose better performance. This will slightly reduce the preview quality. You might not even notice it, but you have improved rendering, but also the playback will be more smooth as well. Before, I always got the spinning wheel of death on my screen and, when, and it was constantly like stopping my editing and basically up to the point where I had to force quit the program. And then we realized that it was the library over here. It will be smooth in the beginning, but the more and more you add to your library, the slower your program will run. It went from running smooth to being like slower, which was really annoying. And if you don't want any of these like library files and just click move to trash and then just delete the clips that you don't use. Obviously, if you're using a clip like multiple times and don't delete that. And we have a compound clip, so um, it turns a couple of clips into one, but they take a lot of storage. But if you have a bunch of compound clips, it will mess up your Final Cut Pro's experience as well. And of course, delete any projects that you don't need anymore. And of course, you have to delete the generated files. It's not going to show anything until you click Essentials, then go to File and click delete generated library files. So first you have to click render files. Then you have an option of unuse only or all. So if you mark unuse only, it'll delete the render files of other projects, but not yours. But if you click all, it'll delete render files on your project as well. And then mark delete optimized media and click delete proxy media. And don't worry, uh, nothing will be deleted. It'll just regenerate again. Then click okay. If you want to see other Final Cut Pro tutorials, make sure to click this playlist. They're all helpful videos. Make sure to subscribe because I post videos like these every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!